the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's the Seahawks going up against the Buccaneers. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 15 matchup. Buccaneers, Seahawks coming up on EA Sports. Winter is here as the temperature continues to drop as we get set for kickoff for today's matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. And we're about to go live with our game matchup. It's an important game in some respects. No, the playoffs aren't going to happen in this case. But there's always that storyline about trying to build for next year and a little respect. How do you see it, Phil? Well, a little respect. There's no doubt about it. You want to be able to go until the offseason when it's over and say you won so many games. Pride is always on the line as a professional athlete. Once that football is kicked off, you're not sitting here thinking, oh, I'm not going to try hard because we're not going to be in the playoff. That is a wide tail. These teams will play hard. This will be a fun game to watch. Fights through that hit. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. And here's a quarterback coming onto the field who has plenty of experience under his belt. Yep, there's no doubt he is the man in charge, and, and he shows it just the way he handles himself, uh, and that's why he plays so well. That's why he's in this game today. They come to the line, and it's first down. Get right. Lynch is going to take the handoff now. Brought down after a gain of six. Second down here. Lynch and a run right up the middle and he's taken down but not until he picks up the first Let's go. first down at the 46 play fake makes the catch in open space what a good job of the quarterback that time he saw the defensive back inside the wide receiver and he leads that wide receiver to the sideline on that corner route. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 35. Catch made near the sideline. How you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. First down at the 17. Shuts off the first hit, and he takes off. And that'll be a gain of about two. Second down coming up. Lynch is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Trying to plow ahead. That gains a few. On the way, third down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Intercepted. Good piece of tackling. And now we've got what you call the wildly veteran at quarterback. About to head onto the field for the first time today. Yeah, when you're a quarterback like this and, and you've had success, you go out in the field, you can't wait for the game to start because you veterans think only good things are going to happen to them. So they're confident and ready to go. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. First down and 10. Martin's going to secure the handoff. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. And now we'll look at the Buccaneers' offensive lineup. They've done a great job of converting on third down this season. The Buccaneers step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. And that's Watt in on the stop. And this will go for a loss. Here's a look at the Seahawks defensive lineup. They do have a tendency to give up a lot of yardage. So we'll see if this offense can take advantage today.
Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. The Buccaneers this time will go with two tight ends. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. They're set to punt it away now. First down on the way. Mench is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Play fake. Finds Gronkowski. He's brought to a halt. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We'll be back from Seattle for the start of the second after the break. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. The Seahawks with a huge gainer right before the break and now coming back to the line to start the second. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. It's Gronk. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive lineman make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. First and ten. Play-action fake. Looking to throw. It's Gronk. Stiff arm. He's got the first down yardage. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Offense lines up here. good for only a yard or two the defense loading up on the line getting set for this snap here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch Jim I love these situations third and goal what are they going to call they're going to run the football they're going to go with the pass and if it is a pass I will look for something quick a timeout charge to the offensive unit Offense getting set now, following the timeout. Only a yard from the end zone. Ready to make the stop on the goal. And he's across for the touchdown. Well, Jim, I think he's one of the top ten running backs in the NFL. And he proves it because he just knows how to get in the end zone. That time, he's physical, gets that extra little, little yardage that you need, and gets into the end zone. The Seahawks line up now for the point after. Driving extra point is good. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. And he'll start his return. And the tackle is made right around the 32-yard line. The Buccaneers now will start their drive at the 32. Buccaneers from the 32. Martin's taking the handoff. 
Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. The Buccaneers might be looking at the scoreboard and thinking, uh-oh, not again, as they trail in another tight game, partner. Well, I'm gonna do a little teaching right here. Don't look at the scoreboard. Just focus on the play that's coming up. Just do your job. If you do that, you'll have a chance to find a way to win. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Catch made. Brought down at the 38. First down here after the completion. They're going to the hurry up. Back to the line. That ball has been picked off. Finds a little seam. Bites off the hit. It's got some daylight. They bring him to the turf. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They face first down. is handed the football. They'll mark him at the 46. Second down after going to the ground game the first play. Lynch has got it on the handoff. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Keeps it on the play fake. Throws to the right. Gronkowski hauls in that bullet pass. Here's a look now at a tight end who has been heavily featured in the passing game so far, partner. Yeah, he has been featured. And look, it's such a tough job for the linebackers today. Now they, they expect them to cover tight ends who can run like wide receivers. Then they say, oh, no, when it's not a pass, go up there and stop the run. Hard to do both. So this tight end's having great success so far. Offense lines up here. Second down and five. They hand it off to him again. Dan picks up about three. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Lynch running right through the trenches. Lynch is tackled down. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Offense lines up here. First and goal. They're going to stay on the ground. Lynch is tackled down. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Tackles made. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. A good job there by the offense third and goal and what do they do they run the football against the defense and nice job getting the touchdown the Seahawks now lined up for the extra point extra point was good up now in kickoff formation. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. That leads us to second down. 
That does it for the first half. Buccaneers trail in this one. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Seahawks are in a good flow now two straight weeks, and much like last week, are playing well enough to win. The Buccaneers will have to figure out a way to make a comeback in the second half. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Seahawks with the football, late in the first. Kronkowski's found on the quick pass and catch, and the play will come to an end after a gain of 25. Seahawks have it later on the drive. Lynch is going to stay up the middle, and he caps off the six-play drive with the score. The Seahawks take the early lead. Buccaneers lined up at the 38. The pass ends up being picked off. Harmon's winning the play and comes away with it, ending the draw. Now following the pick, Lynch is going to take off here, and he caps off the long drive with the TD. That puts them on top by 14. So that's it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to Seattle for the start of the second half. He'll take it from the six. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. First down here. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. That's second down coming up. And Evans is lined up in the slot. Doug Martin carries the football. Well, his defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long. Advantage goes to the defense. It'll be third down. The Seahawks lined up in the nickel. Let's go. Down for the From the shotgun. Complete to Hopkins. You don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today has been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Beckham marked down at the 41. The Seahawks bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. The Seahawks snap it at the 41. And it's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Midway into the third, handoff, and a gain of four. First down here after the run. Gets it again. That's a tackle right near the 48. Second down here after that run play. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Taken down at the 39. Now third and short following the run. Offense lines up here. Lynch is going to take the handoff now. Tackles made and the first down is picked up. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Takes another handoff. Tackles down at the 28-yard line. Second and four following the run. Right back to him. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Offense lines up here. Keeps it here. Has the reception all alone. 
Well, this tight end is bouncing back. That's a big deal in this league, Phil. And he didn't have a good game last outing, but today, a completely different story. Well, he's such a good player, Jim, that it's hard for him to have two bad games in a row. And so far today, he has been sharp, and the quarterback is putting it right on target. Set up screen to Lacey. Breaks the plane, and it's a touchdown. This offense, even though they had the lead, they do not sit on it. They are aggressive. They take risks. And what a good. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Buccaneers are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 0. Ready to step up and send this one down to the end zone. He'll take it from the one. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. First down coming up. Running formation here. Offense in the full house set. And now here's the handoff. Off the right side, Martin. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Nickel formation here for the defense. This will be second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Tight ends in motion here. The final quarter begins with this snap. Wide open for the catch. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Let's go! The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 30. The defense gets the sack. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. The big sack on the last play now sets up second and 21. The Buccaneers come to the line with an empty backfield. Snap it out of the gun. And he's sacked again. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Out of the shotgun formation. He's got the catch. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Beckham has got a chance this time. And that's a gain of 13. First down, offense ready for the snap. Decker's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. In on the stop. Big and open. That's what this tight end's been today, Phil. Yeah, we see it more and more. Tight ends getting the football from their quarterbacks. Why? Because they're going against linebackers. They're faster and usually bigger than the linebackers. That's matchups you love on the field. They bring in the extra tight end. Second down and seven. Play action. And now he'll take off. Makes the catch inbound. I think the coach on the sidelines. We have a review coming from the booth. 
There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must must maintain After possession the of play, the football the as you go to the ground. Reversed. Inside the last two minutes, this one had to be instigated by the folks upstairs. They challenged the call on the field, and in fact, it was the proper thing to do. The play is overturned. Yeah, good job by the Let's officials go. upstairs yeah, seeing yeah. it, knowing there was a mistake on the field. That's what I love about the NFL. They're not afraid to admit, to say they made mistakes and turn them around. Quarterbacks love play action passes, especially on first down, because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. He'll keep it on the play fake. Fought for the first down. Gains 13. Quarter routes not thrown enough in this league anymore. A lot of teams don't do it because it takes a strong arm quarterback to get it done. That was a terrific throw up the field that time. Offense lines Let's up go. here. First and ten. Still got it after the play action. Pulls it in. Picks up eight here. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second and two. Lynch is going to secure the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Let's go. Lynch trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Joseph's there to make the stop. Lynch's in the backfield, single back set. Second and six. Another carry here. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Offense lines up here. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Middle, able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. They call his name again. The tackle was made. The Seahawks absolutely got a little greedy that time, thinking that they couldn't be stopped. They go for it on fourth down here, winning in the second half, and they fail to convert. That's a big mistake. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He's in the clear. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown! Touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and... Hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The Buccaneers getting set for the extra point. Extra point is good. The Seahawks returners are ready. They still have a sizable lead, even though they've seen the opponents inch a little closer. The scores 21 to 7. And he fails to get out to the 20, and he is smacked down at the 15 yard line. The Seahawks come onto the field now for this next series. Lacey lines up in the backfield. First down at the 15. Keeps it here. To the sideline and 
incomplete. Here in the second half, we're seeing some familiar numbers from a tight end who has been one of the best receivers in the NFL this season. It's just every single week he gets it done. All you can say about it is, wow, he is impressive. Let's go. Back to the air here on first down. Oh, and almost picked off that time. 